Hey guys, and welcome back to LS Techs. Today, I've got a mini PC. This is a fanless mini PC from Minix. This is the Nano C or Z83-4. It's a Windows 10 PC basically with an Intel process. Let's see how it is. So this is the box itself guys. Got the logo there. Nano Z83-4. Fanless mini PC, Windows 10, very nice. Got Intel processor. So it is 4K output with Intel HD graphic, Windows 10, Ethernet port. On the top, we've got the product, what's inside. So we've got the box itself, a dual band antenna, a power cord, a HDMI cable, very nice. So it's got a Intel X5C. 8300 processor which is a 64-bit quad-core processor so that's very nice we've got a 4 gigabytes of RAM 16 gigabytes of eMMSC storage so that should be very fast and we've got your dual band Wi-Fi on the back we've got more detail so just the same detail I said it's got HDMI 3. audio jack SD card 2 USB 3s and one USB 0.3 so that's pretty decent nothing else so let's open the box up guys so this one goes for 180 pounds on Amazon I'll leave it in the description guys to check it out so I've got some booklets here just some whoops simple user guides nothing really there different products they use and they use the guides for this one Simple easy setup here, nothing else to go through guys. So we've got the specs inside here again as well as you can see. Let's take out the box itself and as you can see this is extremely tiny. Let me put this to the side and see everything in the box. So we've got the power brick itself, pretty standard three pin power brick. We've got the Wi-Fi antenna. power brake itself because it needs power so we've got this tiny power brake which is nice and we get a HDMI cable included which is always a nice thing to see so it's a standard HDMI 1.4 cable which is nice to include nothing else in the box so this is the box itself as you can see we've got the Minix logo at the front nothing here just a LED light on this side we've got a power SD slot three USB 2s and a USB 3 on the back audio jack display port HDMI Ethernet and a power socket on this side we've just got your antenna and a Kensington lock on the bar we just got some rubber feet for grip which is pretty decent so you can see guys it's extremely tiny so let me compare it next to the U9. So this is the Nano U9, which is the Android TV box, and this is the Windows PC. Guys, it's basically the same size. Okay, it's a bit thicker, but as you can see, it is pretty nice. Okay, this is the PC, it's Android TV box. And they're only like 20 pounds in price difference. So it's a great, great bargain, guys. A mini PC, basically, a fanless mini PC for you to do like all the stuff you're going to do there with just much more power and better graphics so guys let me just set this up and load it up while it's just doing its setup and restarting everything so I'm just going to go with the spec again so it's got a Intel X5 C8300 processor which is a quad core processor clocked at 1.8 8 gigahertz so that's very fast and we've got an Intel HD graphics we got 4 gigs of DDI3 RAM with 32 gigabytes of storage which is a eMMS storage so that's pretty fast and uh, we've got a dual band, dual band Wi-Fi so we've got the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz band it's running Windows 10 64-bit so yeah guys Basic size is extremely 
budget PC but it's very powerful for the price okay guys it's up and running now so let me sign in and everything okay guys so I've just powered it on I've done some tests set everything up and as you can see so it's pretty simple setup guys it's the normal Windows PC so you get all the same setups as always then that signing in everything is done now all the Wi-Fi everything is connected I'm currently using Wi-Fi and I'm using the 5 gigahertz band and as you can see I'm getting 70 meg download speed which is pretty good more than what you need but I'm using Wi-Fi so that is pretty decent probably with Ethernet cable I should be getting around 100 megs but 70 megs is fine for things I'm going to use this PC for so that's great and I've done some Geekbench scores and on open CL score I got 5384 as you can see which is pretty decent for the price I'm getting here and I've done CPU test as well on single core I'm getting 919 pretty good and on multi core I'm getting 2428 which is decent as well for the price guys so this price point this is pretty nice guys so if we scroll down here we can see we are running Windows 10 64 bit with an Intel Atom x5 processor which is clocked at 1.44 guys i know i said before it's clocked at 1.8 sorry about that guys it's clocked at 1.44 so we got the standard specs here and your ram everything is here so that is pretty decent guys so i have to say for the price here you are getting a lot of great stuff guys it's very nice it's a decent pc so you shouldn't think this is going to be like a powerhouse PC, probably more like just for browsing, using Kodi and just standard stuff, checking your emails, watching YouTube videos, watching movies. So this can be like your media hub instead of using Android TV box, any devices. So that's very nice. It's a simple PC, guys. I'm going to do some more testers, try some games, try some video editing and see how it is. But stay around for the full review guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, leave a like. Now we'll see you on the next one guys. Take care.